today we did something amazing in uh, in the mountains. Uh, we did mountain bike ride uh, almost on the top of Jabal Jibber, the highest point in, in UAE. But uh, we did it with a new new bike that from a company named Pronghorn. Pronghorn Racing, excellent bike, full carbon fiber, hard tail, with kind of a soft tail. It's not a new technology, but something new for, for the Pronghorn. They didn't did it last year. Uh, but what more more amazing? It's a um, fork that we have had installed on, on that on that frame. It's a low fork, 60 mm travel, 950 grams. Whole bike is like extremely light with complete EXO group set. And handling of the bike, it's like. It's very light by handling by of the bike it's easy especially with that integrated uh, <coughs> stem and the handlebar plus low fork is working fine it's a pure cross-country fork 60 mm of travel uh, and you can feel real travel on off-road but when you're on the road it's kind of a, like not like you don't have a suspension but the travel is not that much so it's working fine and I was surprised when I tried the bike uh, on the uphills when you're off the seat uh, doesn't bounce doesn't bounce at all that much so technically the lockout is not needed at all uh, maybe it's better to have that as an option but on wow for you can't get it uh, advantages ultra light fork uh, 60 mm travel maintenance free so zero maintenance no air no oil just put your bike in the dirt once you finish your ride clean it up and that's it you're ready for the next ride um, I'll just upload some videos you can see it maybe you can't see much but also I, I can I can share with you some links from uh, love supplier <coughs> low fork uh, manufacturer and um, there definitely you can find some interesting videos and specifications it's amazing fork it's different fork than than regular fork and it's working just fine it's just I'm really surprised with the fork then. Uh, interesting thing is that uh, a low fork just put on the market the same uh, fork same system of the fork but for the for the road bike technically for the cycle cross bikes again very light but the travel is not 60 travel is 30 mm which is pretty much enough for cyclocross I mean it's better than nothing and the weight of the fork is just a little bit a little bit more than the normal fork that you will have on, on your on your road bike but for cyclocross it's, it's I believe it will work fine I'll check if we can get one of cyclocross bikes from Pronghorn here in UAE we can do some testing for you guys and uh, upload the video I mean Put your comments what you think and uh, if you have any questions just ask i'll be happy to answer yeah next week i think we will do some some testing on the boardman bikes on the road off-road i'm not really sure uh, but i'll confirm that during the week see you later guys